Western Europe is drier than the last thousand years. Unfortunately, the countries important for the food security of the continent are suffering the most. Spain, Portugal and Italy have massive problems due to heat and lack of rain. What was a climate crisis in the past is turning into a catastrophe. Welcome to a Dark New World Compact Report. Italy has announced a state of emergency in five northern regions as it's suffering its worst drought in 70 years. A major part of Italy's largest river, Po, has been drying up because of dry autumn, early summer and meager snow and rainfall. Prime Minister Mario Draghi's office announced a state of emergency due to severe drought that has impacted five northern regions. He also said for the Po Basin, this is the most serious water crisis of the last 70 years, according to analysis by the Po River District Basin Authority. The government announced on Monday that the cabinet has approved a state of emergency in five districts until the end of December. A 36.5 million euro fund had also been set aside to assist those affected. The state of emergency is aimed at managing the current situation with extraordinary means and powers, relief and assistance to the affected population, the government also said. The 650 km long Po River in Italy travels from the snow-capped Alps in the northwest to the Po Delta in the east before merging into the Adriatic Sea. River Po is Italy's longest waterway, which serves at least 30% of the country's agriculture. The Po River and surrounding drainage basins are important regions for agriculture and livestock. More than half of the national stock of cattle, 3.1 million animals and 65% of the national stock of pigs, or 6 million animals, live in the region. Italy's hydroelectric reservoir levels are at record lows due to the diminishing water supply. Hydroelectric power production, which typically meets 15% of the country's needs, is down 50% this year compared to 2021. According to the research experts, forage, barley and grain crops will be down 30% to 40% this year, causing livestock to be slaughtered for meat earlier than expected. It will exacerbate the rise on consumer food prices and farmer production costs. Production of hazelnuts and wine may also be affected. Drinking water cannot be used for watering vegetable patches, gardens and sport fields, washing cars, filling swimming pools or any other activity that is not strictly necessary for human needs in northern Italy's Verona and Pisa. These measures will be in effect until the end of August. The situation is an outcome of the climate change and global warming. It has barely rained in Italy for about four months and the country is reeling under an early heat wave. The high temperatures compared with low rainfall and less snow is causing more problems to the population of Italy. However, the problems first surface in the mountains, where snowfall has fallen at its lowest level in 20 years and is currently 50% below seasonal average. The Alps glaciers, which serve as reservoirs for the river, are also shrinking year by year. Permafrost is melting and crumbling chunks of rock on Monte Viso. This clearly indicates that temperatures are rising as a result of global warming. Not only in Italy, but almost all European countries are reeling with the intense effects of climate change. In France, some 18 million people were affected by heat waves, affecting about a third of the country in June 2022. Britain recorded its hottest day of the year so far in the month of June 2022, with temperatures reaching 32 degrees Celsius at Heathrow Airport near London just after midday. Germany too is fighting with several wildfires south of its capital Berlin. It looks like the effects of climate change are now here. It's scary, because we know that this is just the beginning. Food security will be the main problem of humanity besides the energy crisis. We have no control over the weather, and farmers will struggle with decreasing outputs. Food will be more expensive. Last week we covered a drought at Lake Mead, but it's happening everywhere. In other news, Russia is cutting the export of gas to Germany and Europe, which means that Europe is running out of gas this winter. One of the biggest economies in the world can implode. This is serious. If you want to find out more, then check out this video. My name is Dennis. Thank you for watching and goodbye.